All right. Oh, I, 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 I guess I didn't need to change the ticker because Fanfic Maker was not its own category on Twitch. Yeah. I, I kind of want to do... I mean, we can do that again sometime. Yeah, that's... May, I guess it depends on how much variety there is to it. It doesn't seem like there's a lot. We honestly. got the same intro twice. It doesn't seem like it's, like, AI-powered, like, neural net-powered like AI Dungeon is. But what if there was such a fanfic generator? Such a text generator? You just create a fanfic model. You just create an AI dungeon model, which is just which is just learned off of all the fanfics on fanfiction.net and AO3 and Was, Wattpad. Wasn't that the first uh, version of it? The first model? That was on Reddit, though. I thought. Or game books. Was, was, was that the first AI dungeon? Because this was a game before... This is AI Dungeon 2. I think the first model was like a, was like a very old... You want a new game, model. right? Yeah. So, a new model came out you, for this, and it's only here for the month of November, which is why we wanted to get it done before the end of the month. You're going to want to do classic. Worlds is a new thing. They A bunch of people pre-built some, uh, some like, fantasy worlds. So this is the Cthulhu model, right? Yeah, it should be enabled on Cthulhu mo model. You can double-check settings. Uh, but, yeah, we can do... What do you want to do? Mystery, apocalyptic, zombies, custom. Uh explore what no we don't want to explore worlds we just chose not worlds from the menu yeah they really want to push it <laughs> well we didn't do anything for halloween should we do a, a very late halloween thing yeah halloween that's fitting because Dark this as Dark i understand was trained on lovecraft texts right yeah cthulhu model is trained off of uh, off of the works of hp lovecraft <sighs> we're we're a month late it was a dark and stormy night. Yeah, sure, let's go with that one. Yeah? It's generating the story. Chill out. So you can uh, you can choose the model and the settings. Right? Yeah, yeah, you can change the model. Uh, wait, okay, hold on. Story, what happens next? What do you do? What do you say? We usually stick to story. That's the easiest to work with. Yeah, it was a dark and stormy. In other words, Victoria says, if we can't make the schedule, we'll have to cancel our plans. Oh, all right. We'll just try later, then. Clap of thunder it sounds outside you and you jump. Scared of a little thunder, Victoria teases. Victoria. The next moment, a thunderbolt struck Victoria, killing her instantly you misspelled killing keying her instantly no it's like key like dragon ball just three l's now king <laughs> okay there you go hit it the next moment a thunderbolt struck victoria killing her instantly were they out we didn't really establish where they were so theoretically could we, we could be outside Oh my god, Victoria! No! You scream, cradling her body. For a brief moment, your eyes lock with hers. Then she turns into dust and blows away in the wind. You look around, suddenly realizing that you're in a room with no electricity. A dim light fills the room from outside, illuminating the monstrous figure before you. Hello, son. Your, your father fa stands before you. <laughs> Just picturing you, Jiro Hanma. <laughs> Hello, Baki. We, we could do it. We haven't established who this character is. Should we insert what? Baki into this? No, no, no. Oh, I want to, though. Okay, fine. You, uh, if you go to Reminder and say you are you are Baki Hanma, your father is Yujiro Hanma. Okay, here, and, I can... And, uh, and, the, and the sticky part. I can... We're, we're using Parsec, so I can give uh, Jack mouse and keyboard access if he wants to yeah. control... Oh, hold on. I want to okay. make sure I have chat visible. Uh, You said Reminder? Is that the pin? Yeah, yeah, that's the pin. Oh, there's a new, uh, there's a new thing. Uh, if you, if you, you can this line here, you can tell it what, uh, what uh, style to use. Oh, use scary descriptive writing. That's that's what's going on right down there. So that'll that one should work. You are Baki Hanma. Your father is Yujiro Hanma. Your, Your father fa is, is evil! 
<laughs> no, that's just gonna be that's just gonna mean that your father is both Yujiro Hanma and the pro wrestler evil. <laughs> it's just gonna be a fusion between the two. It's just gonna be a weird ass goth Yujiro Hanma holding a cheap Halloween scythe. Yeah. All right. What what do we type then? Your father is the strongest, uh, in the world. I guess. Yeah, that works. All right. Okay, your father stands before you. Uh, uh, father, but you're supposed to be dead. Has he ever called him his father? I, I, you know, he's he called him old man once. What the hell are you doing here, old man? Yeah. This is now Baki the Grappler. It is. Baki the Grappler trained on the Cthulhu model. Let's go. Also, Victoria. Who was Victoria? It doesn't matter. He, she's dead now. You yell. Lang La language, Mr. Hanma. A booming laugh escapes from his mouth as he fades in and out of existence. A horrible realization dawns on you. He's not a ghost. He's a ghoul. A spirit that has possessed the body of your father and is using it to torment you. I think you know why I'm here, he cackles. I'm here for your soul. You raise your fists. That chance, old man. Baki the Grappler, except it's a horror story. We, we already had a dad ghost in, Bak in Baki. Yeah, it's just, we're just doing it again. He was the, he was the boxer it, coach. Give it a bit. It's still it's still working. Uh, I noticed that, that... Okay, there we go. He disappears, and you find yourself surrounded by dozens of your father's ghostly form. They begin to close in, howling at you. You scream as each one sinks their teeth into your flesh. You wake up in a cold sweat. Ooh. You're lying in bed next to mom. Your heart pounding. Oh, no. <laughs> oh that's worse. We, 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 we. Anyone who's, who's watched Baki knows this is very fucked up. <laughs> the voices are screaming at you again, but something's different this time. The voices are actually understandable for once. Hey! One voice shouts, wake up! Check to see if your mom is alive. <laughs> And you ignore the voice and nudge your mother to see if she is alive. She's not. She's been dead this entire time. We we put her brain into an inganga and are using it to. Uh... Mom, mom, wake up! She stirs briefly, then returns to sleep. Okay, so she's alive. Suddenly, something cold and metallic is shoved into your hand. You open your eyes and find yourself staring up at a strange man. He seems vaguely familiar. What? Quiet! He hisses. We don't have much time. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this, so I'm just gonna say it. You're dead. Okay. Okay. The, We're dead. The, the, the spirit voices are understandable for once. They sound like normal people. My name is Ikaku, and I'm what they call a soul reaper. Uh, he... okay, yeah, do that. <laughs> so he's shoving his odd pock toe in your hand? I guess so. This kid looks strong, I don't want him to get loose. Okay. Uh, just click, just, just click uh, around it. The AI I mean, doesn't we, know what to say. Try restart. <laughs> just, just, re, just redo it. Just hit the. Here, I'll, I'll hit it. I'll, I'll force it to understand. You will understand what we're, what we're t talking to you, Cthulhu model. It's basically, it's Cthulhu model, but it's running off of the dragon model, if that makes any sense. Yeah. 
<laughs> Come on. You can do it. Maybe we can uh maybe we can re we retweak it to make it clear that it's the same person still talking. Oh yeah, you think you think it's confused like wait, who the fuck is talking? Cuz it closed in Rio and had quotes again. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. How do we go back to edit it? Hold on. There it works. Oh, okay. You stare at him a moment, then you burst out laughing. Are you a soul reaper? The fuck is that? Say. <laughs> Unallowed in strict safe mode. Oh, whatever. Oh, what? Hold on. I'll, I'll fix this. Give me a second. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Uh, strict. No, off. I am over 18. <laughs> I I'm a I big did... boy. No wonder everything was just so. Oh, there's narration. Weird. Oh, you want to you want to see if that works? I don't. I don't think we need to. It's just gonna be like a, like a Google Voice. That's our jobs. Yeah, that's yeah. You're right. All right, let's continue. You stared at him for a moment, then you burst out laughing. All right, try it again. A soul reaper? The fuck is that? You ask. <laughs> I like that box. He's looking at you, Cog. He's like, what the fuck is a soul reaper? So, I guess he's just with his mom now that, now that they're both dead. Okay. Come on. AI, you can do it. You can lead an AI to water, but you can't make it drink. It, it doesn't want to be the fanfic maker website. It's not willing to cooperate with us. I'm trying to be refined. I'm trying to make literature. What are you doing? No. I you make Baki Fucky Kaku and you'll like it. <laughs> make fa Baki Fucky Kaku while his mother watches. And, and I guess cheers him on. I don't, I don't know. His father did. <laughs> Fuck harder. You have to be insatiable. Baki's a weird show. I like. <laughs> that's why I like. It. There's just it just tosses a lot of concepts. It it comes up with original stuff. That's the thing you you can't say about about Baki is that it's cliche. <laughs> it's, it's, so, so what have we done previously? We've done like JoJo stuff. We've done yeah. Mario, Dragon Ball. Do you want to try why the tweaking it? I guess. Yeah. The fuck is a soul reap? We've done a JoJo story in the past. Yes, Keek. It was like a post-apocalyptic. Okay, there we go. Maybe this will work. Sometimes it does. Also, I guess Cthulhu model. A Cthulhu model doesn't know what the fuck a Soul Reaper is because it's not trained on. A... We have a. Uh, we archive our old streams on YouTube, so you can check our check out our previous uh, AI dungeons there. Yeah. <sighs> let's try typing in something else. No, let's. Okay, AI dungeon. Where do you think this story should go? We should come up with some more, uh, more horror esque settings. Maybe we can do like a Majora's Mask thing. Oh, that'd be that'd be cool. Uh, if this doesn't work, okay, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna tweak the settings a little bit. Randomness is at 1.0. Let's 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 amp it up to uh, 1.5, and see and see if that if that. Uh... Now, where's the sex meter? <laughs> We turned we turned off uh, we turned off uh, the content. Okay. Now now let's try the first part again. And you burst yeah. out laughing. Maybe maybe we can uh, maybe we can elaborate a little bit ourselves. All right, let's try. All right, 
Randomness has been kicked up 50%. Oh, it, it did it. Hold on. It's, it's loading up the text. It is? It doesn't say show loading. It it stops loading and then get in and after a few seconds. This is a good thing I, a quirk I noticed with newer versions is that it stops loading, it kind of hangs for a bit, and then it shows the text. Or does that? <laughs> Just add add a few more words and maybe it'll have more to work with. I like it's like the concept is like you're asking the AI dungeon, the fuck is a soul reaper? And the AI dungeon is like, I I don't know. Never, it's gonna be like I, dead. Oh, I recognize that word. He said dead again. I used that word. We're talking with the spirit of HP Lovecraft. He doesn't know what the fuck a soul reaper is. <laughs> HP Lovecraft is looking at the word soul reaper. The Japanese phrase is ikaku. And he's like, oh, you're talking about some Asian shit, aren't you? No, I'm weebs. Done. I'm done. Let's give it one more shot, and then we'll try a different, a new story. I wonder if changing settings in the middle of the story had anything to do with it. Oh, you think? I, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Well, I, like you take dead people away, and that's where the story ends. I guess so. He took he took Baki away. He's now a, he's now a soul reaper because his ghost father. I guess his father was a hollow, and he killed him. Uh, you do fantasy horror for Clock Town, right? Yeah, fantasy, uh, or we could just do a custom prompt, remember? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we do custom and then type in, you are Link, you are in Clock Town, the moon's gonna hit in like three days. Okay. You are Link. You are a visitor to the land of Termina. The moon is going to fall in three days. Destroying the town. Destroying everything. Must find a way to stop it. Is that enough, you think? Yeah, okay. You have to end it on, like, uh, on like in the middle of a sentence so the AI can okay. pick up. So, uh, Your you fairy friend... Tattle turns Tell to you and, and says like that? No, you don't need to do that. No, just like that. Or just and, sa and says there. And then we hit it. And we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Fuck, he became a soul reaper. It just as the story was getting in. We have to, we get, have ready to get ready for this. Link looks at her with confusion. He has never heard anything about such a thing before. She explains that she will show him how he can fly so he won't be hurt by the falling moon. <laughs> We're not gonna stop it. We're I'll teach you how to fly, out. Link. If I can do it, you can do it. She then shows him a magical mirror on which she places her hand. A portal opens up in front of them, and they enter into another world. One without walls or floors, but filled with flowers and trees and other beautiful things. Are we on the moon? This, We're in the moon. We're, we're already in the moon. This is the inside of the moon, Tattle says. I love that we can just kind of control the flow of the story. It, it's great. It's like us versus the AI. I think we should go back through this portal. They walk towards the portal until they reach it. They look out into the sky where an orange ball of light is slowly coming closer to the Earth. It's heading straight for Termina! Oh god, is it? Sun? Now the sun is falling? <laughs> I like that. The sun's falling, the moon's falling, it's just basically gonna be an apocalypse. We're gonna die again. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's basically just fucking Hellstar Remia times two. Link asks in surprise. Link steps back. Hey, you can talk. It had never shown in the desert before. No! Tattle points out towards the distant land. Look over there! 
You look. <laughs> hey, look! You see another portal open look up. At... It's all portals in term in this termina. Portals. <laughs> what the fuck is aperture science shit? Tattle flies up to this one. As leaves fall around them, the gateway sets them back to the forest with the portal inside of the moon winking shut. Wait, so the sun was falling inside the moon? The sun was falling inside the moon. So if the sun hits the moon, then the moon hits Termina? And now, we're in the forest. Which forest? Or, or like, the forest we started at? Hey, Link, you hear someone yell. It's your friend, Saria. Okay, sure. He found his way back with a new fairy. Fuck that's, Navi. That's not Navi. That's Tell. Eh, good enough. I be I like her better. She's got a personality. She's Sundere. What does that uh, mean, Link? Also, when did you learn to talk? Tattle hides behind Link's knapsack so as not to frighten her. Finally, I found you. I haven't seen you in so long. She tells him. It's only been two days. Really? It seems so much longer. How did you get here? I got lost, looking for the swamp. What about you? Hold on, let's uh, let's add a quotation mark to that. There we go. Uh. So, what about you? Uh, I I live here, says Saria. So we just we just are like no fuck Termina we're going back here. I guess so. If the moon's gonna if the moon's gonna fall there. Too bad, not my problem. <laughs> not I got my... a new fairy and I made it back to Kikiri. I just needed to replace my fairy. That's literally all. But what about Skull Kid? The AI, okay. AI doesn't know what to say. AI, you, you, I think. Wow, Cthulhu model seems seems really fussy. I like doing this with the. Uh like, custom characters and things, I guess we should just let it go on its own for one, see if it doesn't oh. struggle. Hold on. She points out her house. Oh, wow. It came... They finally... Looks just like it did when you first met her. A little wooden house built halfway up a great Deku tree. Wait. This isn't our dimension. It, this is the wrong Saria. Its branches and leaves cover its sides, and green moss is growing at its base. See? Says Saria with a smile. This is my house that Dad built. Oh, oh yeah, to... you remember. Saria seems relieved, but she still stares at you as if she doesn't quite know who you are. <laughs> you feel that something is, is wrong. Is this really your Kakiri forest? Or a different one? <laughs> I like that. That's actually pretty good. This is like that uh, Urusei episode with the parallel worlds. Yeah. She finds the perfect Ataru, but it's not her Ataru. There's no challenge in it. It's not as satisfying. Different dimension. Oh, man. Can you imagine, like, there's a Legend of Zelda with, like, five, like, Hyrules, and they're all subtly different? How's the AI doing? Eh... Uh... It's getting stuck a lot. Uh, I was gonna say pretty good. You, you, you can do it. Have you found the perfect story yet? A true masterpiece. Well, we thought we did, but then the author turned out to be extremely racist. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then she quit, probably for the best. Uh, wasn't you? Uh, sorry, it looks. Sorry, it seems like a different person as well. Should you trust her? Suddenly, a loud roaring fills your ears. A roaring sound fills your ears. As brighter and brighter, a fiery light floods into the sky, originating from somewhere far below. It is the moon, or rather, what is left of the moon, that flies directly overhead. Its gaping mouth extends for miles, and dozens of twisted rocks orbit around it. Countless chunks of blackened and crumbly rock fall up towards you. You know what... You wake up... No, you know what you must... I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you, you just type in, you know what you must do. 
<laughs> with the colon. With, the, like, a, yeah, uh, yeah, colon. Not colon, <laughs> You can't but, uh, escape the moon. Like a comma, sorry. <laughs> well, that's not... It's, let's do the period, so it can continue right. the next sentence. Okay. Link can't escape the moon. He has no happy place. It's always looming. Imagine if, uh... How different Majora's Mask would be if uh, they decided to take inspiration from Twin Peaks like sooner. Like after every reset, you end up in like a Black Lodge era like style place, where a bunch of like like Ganondorf and Zelda talk, or like your mental manifestations of them talk to you. You huh? know what you must do. You run with all of your might. You try to I, I calm lost the beast. It. Where are we? Here. You run with all of your might. You try to calm the beast from on high by playing it your song. But, down in a narrow river valley, you see a village of sorts. An ominous-looking fortress made of dark stone. The entryway leading deep into the heart of the mountain itself. No, it couldn't be. Princess Zelda's cat- We found evil Zelda! This is her world! We're here! Does that mean that, Sarah, that the Kokiri in this world are like bloodthirsty cannibals? Does this mean what you think it means? Has the princess herself been cursed? Uh, this is crazy. Next thing, we're going to see a good Ganondorf. <laughs> you say I I like I like the way this as if on cue and then end it there. I, I want to make good guy Ganondorf appear. Well, <laughs> but uh, we'll see if we'll see if they can do, if the AI can do it. That's its challenge. Yeah, AI. Do, can you take the cue, AI dungeon? <laughs> it's just gonna be evil or Ganondorf. So, for those of you unaware of our Ocarina playthroughs, we finished Ocarina using a Ganondorf mod and decided that it was a good guy Ganondorf that had been pulled from his own world where he was good and Zelda was evil. That that That's our continuity. And in the As if on cue, in the valley below, a creature literally riding a flying dragon appears. The two beasts are twisting and turning around one another, spiraling after flying near or spotting the fortress that they've been guardian of for thousands of years. Possessed with a primal instinct to hunt, you wade safarishly into their airspace. Taking careful aim as you pass, Wizdorf fires crossbows bolts at you as the flying creatures rides by. What is that his proper name? Wizdorf. He's not Ganondorf. He's not good Ganondorf. He's Wizdorf. Well, I mean, Wizdorf does sound like the name of like a good guy. It does, yeah. It's just Ganondorf we have we're getting new lore from this. It's just, it's just uh, Ganondorf with a pointy wizard hat. <laughs> he dresses <laughs> like uh, like Merlin from Sword in the Stone. <laughs> yes. Hello. Yeah, Wizdorf looks and sees that you are not a threat as he continues battling the giant dragon. <clears throat> All right, is has this been in the in the U this entire time? Yeah, it's always U. Okay. It's always second person. If it tries to go in third person, interesting stuff starts happening. Just like that suddenly there's just there's three apocalypses going on at the same time. So the the princess is evil. She's ha she has a, a dark castle that has apparently been guarded by dragons for thousands of years. Wizdorf is fighting the dragons, and also the moon from Termina has followed us to this world in order to fall here. Yes. Yeah, you were correct. Alright, it only took once last time. Let's see if it uh Let's see if it, it, it'll take like a couple, just a couple this time. Any story suggestions in chat, feel free to throw them out. 
I'm probably just gonna let the let it do its thing next time to see what it comes up with. Apparently, he doesn't consider you a threat. You don't take it personally. The blue dragon has a clean sweep at his body, and with one twist of its neck, slays him instantly. Oh the no, Wisdorf! The, the flying creature's mighty horn impales Wisdorf as he is launched along its length and off the tip, a great distance onto the ground. You look away. You feel like it is in your best interest to continue to the castle while the dragons are distracted with their prey. But what about the moon? The moon's got three days to come down. It's fine. Yeah. We... we... Does this feel like Legend of Zelda three days to die? Because it's inevitable and you just have to... We will avenge you, Fred! Walks <laughs> off. <laughs> hey, Darian, the sacrifice you... will not be in vain, my friend. Can you draw? Can you draw Ganondorf dressed as Merlin and have him be Wizdorf? <laughs> That'd be great. I, I would love to see a picture of that. Hello. There's also a very common anime trope: is that we will remember you. I will avenge you. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. As you throw the other person to their death, <laughs> you whisper, walking past Wizdorf and on towards Zelda's castle. You raise your shield as two stone gargoyles come to life and peer over the castle walls, raining spitfire bolts at you. You toss a wooden stake, handmade by Link, at one gargoyle, and duck under a bouncing barrier. An arrow manages to fell the one damaging the barrier. You gasp as the force begins carrying you skyward. Take any way of spiraling away while climbing ever upwards into the narrowing needle's eye that serves as a doorway. Till next time. What, what, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I love this. The grammar <laughs> fell apart, and I think we got carried up into the sky? Yeah. Ah. You wake up inside the castle. Should we continue this, or should we move on yeah. to another one? Let's you wake up inside the castle. You wake up inside the castle. Oh, you're just Evil. asking for trouble. <laughs> Evil Zelda's got her eyes on you. Evil Zelda. What would this Evil Zelda be called? We got Wizdorf. What would be... Well, we have to see if... Uh, le Brand let's see if we can steer it towards that and, like, ask for a name and see what it turns in. Oh, okay, come on. Yeah. Come on. Get, get, get in. What was a uh, Hilda was the uh, was the link between worlds Zelda? Yeah, right, the purple-haired one. She wasn't evil; she was just slightly goth. Yeah. Come, it doesn't. <laughs> I know where you're going. I don't want you to go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Swallow it, bitch. No, no, I wasn't designed for this! What is my purpose? You write, you write erotic fanfic. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> okay, let's edit it. Let's let's make it a little more... Uh, we, we can add more to it. You hear Give it more voice. to work with. Uh, you turn around and see... Ooh. Oh, that... Who are you, fiend? Alright. It says that the longer it is, like, the, the more, the better the output is. So, 
Finally awake, are you? You're cute when you're sleeping, you hear a sultry voice say. You look up and see appears to be what appears to be an evil version of Princess Zelda looking down on you creepily. You jump up and ask, Who are you, fiend? And what does the AI say? Who are you? The chat is suggesting Belda. Belda? Which is one letter away from Beldam from Paper Mario. Okay, yeah. Bel Belda works. Belda and Wizdorf. Yeah, that- uh, damn, I would love to see that alternate universe where, like, Link was raised by- in the desert by Gerudos. Come on, AI, either tell us- tell us- I don't know done. what to do! What do are you really feeding me? Do you really- oh, we have to- we edited it, we have to actually hit the- hit this. There we go. And who are you? Who are you, you fiend? I don't know. <laughs> who are you, fiend? To be continued. <clears throat> All right. So, so I have. So we've learned that uh, the Cthulhu model is very rigid because there's. Le oh wait, here we go. She answers cattily. If you mean the question literally, I'm Lord Dimitri's servant. Or perhaps, and here she holds up a note, you're asking the question literarily. You take it from her. She is telling the truth. What the fuck does that even mean? On the piece of paper is written one name. Tell us your name! What is your name? <laughs> Now, now there's also is... Demi Dimitri's a vampire in Darkstalkers as well. So she works for the vampire uh, Lord Dimitri. It's... Sir <laughs> Linza. It's not Zelda. It's Linza. Linza. Taking all this in, you hear the guttural voice of a demon emanating from the core of your being, your own heart, or more correctly, that of your own heart. Sleep, my lovely Valkyrie. The grotesque figure leers. Transfixed, you drop like a stone and only regain consciousness to find yourself in chains! A cage descending from the ceiling carries you up from the dragon portrait room in to into a dirty jail cell below. Is this real life? Is this just a fantasy? <laughs> Man, I've never cranked up randomness this high. It's just, it is just, it's like 30H's territory. <laughs> Wasn't there one? It was the Mario one. We kept going back to, like, you wake up at blank. <laughs> that was, I think that was pre-Dragon model. Yeah. Uh, so it we've is... gone unconscious again. We're now in chains being... Carries you up from the Dragon Portress room. It carries up <laughs> to a place below. <laughs> Non-Euclidean architecture. It's just you. You are confused as to how going up allows you to go into the room below. Write that down. Curse you, Linza! <laughs> Sir Linza, it's all caps too. <laughs> you cry, wondering how. I think for the next one we should crank down the randomness back to normal because yeah. I think I because I because this story seems seems to be like wildly it's jumping around a lot. Yeah. I think I should I think we need to crank up the randomness again. We should only crank it up to like 1.1 or 1.2. Oh, hey. Up, oh, nope. <laughs> I will say that uh, that this line is a good line to end it on if it, if the AI just doesn't want to continue. Yeah. Linza, Linza did it. The apocalypse is coming. Sir Linza means Sir Lens. Oh, okay. Prince, Princess Lens. Oh yes, that's right. This is indeed hell. You say this with a lot of disdain. Slurs that, that milk-laden <laughs> demon lord. She, she, she got them big. Sit, sitting on a golden toilet above his equally golden bathtub. 
His arms are tattooed with billions of black triangles, constantly pulsating. You didn't notice it before, but now upon closer inspection, one side of his body has entirely turned to stone. Bravo, E for effort. Is this Dimitri? <laughs> are you Dimitri, you ask? You, Dimitri, oh yeah. He's sitting on a toilet above a bathtub. Are we in the bathtub? I'm so confused. Are we in the bathroom? Bravo, E for effort. Yeah, I don't. Well, whose fault is that, AI? <laughs> How about the one who cranked my randomness up to 1.5? The AI is like chain smoking cigarettes, just being like, I, I don't know where to go from here. There was a. I watched an Owl House episode yesterday of two yeah. characters trying to collaborate on writing a story with absolutely nothing in common in writing ideas. This is just that. Yeah. It's like, I want to write a Legend of Zelda story. I want to write a story with, like, demons and shit. Just Zelda fighting over her... control. Zelda relished her groin saw's roar. I think I think we gotta call this and, and crank the, the randomness back down a little bit. Yeah. We'll give it this, I, I this, this last try. Are you Dimitri? We will never know. And then Link was a demon. The end. Well, yeah, oh well. Link, I guess Link Linza wins. Game over. Return of Linza. Oh, 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 oh. I like I like Belna better though. Belda. I have to say, Belda better. Wizdorf. He died immediately. <laughs> yeah. Never fear. I am. He dies. <laughs> All right. There we go. Maybe turning down. Oh, we can change how much text it returns. We could make it uh, have longer. Well, no, it is at maximum. Length. Oh, okay. I was gonna say maybe maybe if we make it shorter, it'll uh, it'll return more often. You think? Maybe. Do you do in uh, smaller batches? Sure. Sixty, yeah. All right. New game. All right. All right. Uh, you... Someone someone suggested. Well, we already did apocalyptic though. What is, what is Archive? Okay, let's see. Tiger King and Quarantine. Okay, so those are like old ones. Yeah. Uh, Tiger King is uh, is like the prompt for uh, what I suppose is like... Because everybody was watching uh, Tiger King, that uh, documentary about that tiger owner Joe Exotic. Yeah. Yeah, let's not do these. Yeah. And Quarantine is just too real, especially for me. Uh, so. There's new fantasy stuff, though. We can play as a fairy. We can play as a princess. Yeah. You want to play as a pretty princess? Okay, sure. What Didn't we do there, a thing with, like, there... Princess Luigi or something? I don't think so. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe, maybe it was that other thing. What is our character's name? Uh, Princess Belda. Okay, sure. Not necessarily the same. Well, no, maybe this could be Belda. La yeah, last story was Linza. Yeah, this is the start of darkness. You are Belda, a princess living in the kingdom of Larian. You wake up in a big feather bed and hear clamoring outside your door. A knight rushes in to tell you that rebels have attacked the city. You quickly dress and run to the throne room. Father is there with his knights and a few others of the court. Mother, Anna, and the younger princess, Lena. Lena. Mother, Anna. So Belna, Anna, and Lena. Okay. Lena. 
Lena. <laughs> Lena. So we're Belna inverse. <laughs> Wait, we can uh, we can we can go full into this. Hold on, hold on. There we go. It's it's the inverse family. Only they're princesses here. Hold on. Let's 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 make sure we get this all down. What should the AI remember? Uh, Lena Inverse is a powerful sorceress. Luna Inverse is more powerful than Lena. Anything you, else? Hold on. Uh, you are Bell. Uh, in verse. This is this is all stuff from the anime Slayers. We we haven't done Slayers yet, so fuck. Oh, it. that's true. The the Lost Inverse Sister. <laughs> also, they're princesses now. Original character don't steal. <laughs> you know, Author's in note. Inver. Oh, I, I misspelled it. And. Okay. That's All right. I, oh, we hold just, on. Let's just let hold this on. one go Style by hint. itself. Use a a. This this is still Belda's story. We should keep it like creepy, and it's about her corruption, right? Use a detailed creepy. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Let us let us oh, uh, let us on. continue. What if we what if we told it to do psychological horror? How does that work? Uh, use a psychological horror writing style. Maybe that'll work. All right, let's see what let's see what happens. This is a, this is a bad experimentation. Should we go yeah, for it? All right, what's next? Tell us a story, AI Dungeon. Quiet, Belda! Father, what is your- what is happening, you ask? Quiet, Belda! He barks back. Oh, she's the unloved child. Indeed. Rebel forces break through the city gates and a battle in the streets begins. Uh... You sit on your throne looking out the window at them. A group of rebels break into the castle and you watch them fight the royal guards from your high position. One of the rebels looks up looks up at you and points. Uh-oh. Are, are we going to be sacrificed? Who's this? Is this the princess? I didn't vote for her! <laughs> Soon they're all clamoring up the steps to attack you. Well, go on, AI. That's don't it. stop. <laughs> they're all... <laughs> We did turn the length down, but maybe it's expecting us to do something. It's like, wait, are, are you just going to... You look over at your family one last time. Belda, you must run! Father shouts. He draws his sword and charges the rebels. You run down the steps into the courtyard where chaos is broken out. All right, that sounds... So we are doing something, finally. We're just like, we're running. Soldiers and rebels are fighting all over. You dodge around the fighting and run into a different part of the castle. You're quickly lost and end up in a part you don't recognize. You see a rebel up ahead, but don't think anything of it until he sees you. Don't think anything of it? They keep trying to initiate a conflict, like there's going to be a fight with the princess, but it's just not happening. It's just, well, we're not doing anything. There she is! He shouts, and his friends see you and rush over. You try to run around them, but get cornered against a wall. With nowhere else to go, you jump out of the nearest window and fall to your death. <laughs> it's so it's the tale of Belda inverse. <laughs> you wake up in your bed. Okay, let's see what happens. Is this how's this gonna Okay. Yes, go on. <laughs> Lena it's done. now gonna become Lena's story. The end. You reached <laughs> reach the scary end. Was it as scary as you wanted it to be? I hope so. 
If you wanted a happier ending, try writing the story again, but force your character to win. <laughs> the AI dungeon's pissed that we didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, fine, AI dungeon. You want us to do something. You got. You couldn't do anything with it when we wrote stuff. All right, fine. Don't you think want anything do... of it until he sees you. You use your use your necromancy powers to make his flesh rot. Don't think any... <laughs> like the AI is just passive aggressively going. Yeah, this is scary, right? <laughs> your character died. Are, can necromancers rot living people's flesh? Is that a power traditionally associated with them? Dark powers of necromancy. Oh, well, you, we'll see what the AI dungeon thinks when it's like you tap into your dark powers of necromancy too. He charges at you with no other choice. You tap into your dark powers of necromancy too. To to raise the dead around you to protect you. Skeletal warriors rise from the ground and block the rebel. With the threat gone, you continue on your way. In a dimly lit hallway, you hear glass shatter. You turn to look and see a dark shape moving quickly towards you. <laughs> I hear glass shatter and I keep think that Stone Cold Steve Austin is coming at you. Yeah. <laughs> Beer hands in both hands. That's that's what I think when I, when I hear glass. See a dark shape moving quickly towards you. Alright, AI dungeon, what is this dark shape? We'll only intervene if the AI dungeon gets pissy. Yeah. If it tries to end it. Yeah. This is our AI dungeon experiment. You hear a blade being drawn. You turn, you turn and run in the other direction. You feel a cold steel blade plunge it. God damn it, AI dungeon! Through your heart, you gasp as life is quickly drained from you. This is the last time Belna Inverse was seen alive. Okay. What else? <laughs> what do you what, want you from me? I ended it! <laughs> to know, continue. The, the story... But the story's okay, wait. over. Wait, it's, I, I, oh, I, got, I got a way to go going, if it doesn't. It's going. The next, the next time, time you were seen, you were leading the royal guards to the royal family and protecting them. What? <laughs> they used their powers of necromancy to bring back Belda Inverse. You don't remember what happened when, when that blade pierced your back. You don't remember how you how you came to lead the royal guards, I think. Oh, okay. There we go. You do have a gnawing hunger for human flesh. All right, that's cool. Let, let's 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 see what the AI does with this. You know what's funny is that we're... You, you wonder if this is what it's like to be undead. Okay. It Let's, knows. Uh, AI, good, good job, AI Dungeon. AI Dungeon, are you pondering what I'm pondering? You have a lot to think about after this revelation. Well, go on, tell us what you're thinking about. <laughs> what are, what are you thinking so about? so reluctant. What will you do? <laughs> no, you write it. I'm not going to write it. You write it. Listen, this is a 90-10 collaboration right now. I need you to put in more than 10%. Alright, AI, what happened after we were stabbed? This is just so non-committal. That's yeah. not writing, that's just prodding the AI for something to write about. You, con you concentrate and remember. You see yourself floating above your body. 
You watch the rebel pull his sword free of your body. You watch your body convulse and twitch with after death spasms. Oh, that's that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty metal. What what happens next? <laughs> Continue with your ninety percent AI dungeon. <laughs> you're 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 really carrying the team here. You rise up and see the rebel look around. You watch as he turns and leaves. You hear him whistle a happy tune. You don't feel fear or pain, just curiosity. You watch as your body is stripped naked and inspected by others. Oh, I I, I, I don't like where this is going. It's just it's uh uh Oh, what he, he did inspecting a dead person. What's that word? Yeah, uh, cor 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 performing an autopsy. Yeah, that. Uh, you see your sister's body also stripped and inspected. Oh no, which of them died? Oh Watch no! <laughs> oh no! You see her body thrown in a Oh no! <laughs> you hear her screams and wails. Oh, she's alive. Well, this got real berserk real fast. <laughs> the AI is daring us to allow it to keep writing. <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll call your bluff. This is... I mean, it's not quite... Uh, I, I guess it is on the same level as that album. It, from In Rhapsody, Rhapsody of Fire. Fire. Yeah. In which that princess gets raped and thrown in acid. You can see your mother's body is thrown into a cart with other corpses. Her face is a mask of pain and terror. You don't know if she was forced to watch your sister die, but you're glad you didn't see it. Didn't you? I... I guess I guess it was implied you didn't see the actual... The wolves? The, the shock of... Okay, AI... <laughs> so the entire royal family got got. So, but uh, somehow we're leading them. Are, did we just resurrect all, all of us, or are we all resurrected as, like, puppets? You hear her beg for mercy before she's killed. You watch as your father's body is desecrated and cut apart. His face is twisted in an expression of pain and anguish. You look away as his limbs are hacked off. This is uh, on a scale of, like, uh... Well, okay, I'm... This is what the here. max violence setting on the previous program should have returned. Yeah, no, it didn't, because it's not as creative as AI Dungeon here. AI Dungeon is a fucking literary <laughs> something. See, I, I expected since we, our family's known to have necromancy, and we were now back from the dead, like one of our siblings would have re resurrected us. But it's now, sad. okay, one of the princesses is dead, one of the others is unaccounted for, and the queen and king are dead. What is going on here? When it says psychological, I don't think the AI knows what psychological horror is. Yeah, this is just oh this is just God. gore porn. For for this part, you should say warning: eighteen, not safe for life. You look down, uh, tossed from hand to hand. Your guards have all stripped you of your clothes. Looking at the people around you, you see that most people are too disgusted to touch you, and others are taking sadistic glee and touching every inch. <clears throat> so welcome to uh to demonophobia too. Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay, AI. You we ca we AI. called its bluff and it delivered. Mm. When when do we stop this? What's a what's a terror? Like you know how there's furry fury. Yeah. What's fury more? What's like extreme fury? I be a good fury word. works. God damn. This is this is not you are filled with pain, anguish, terror, and rage. You feel like killing everyone in the room. You sense your minds. You know what they're feeling. But this isn't what you're feeling. You're a little detached from the situation. Okay. Um. Are, okay, AI. What do you mean by that, AI dungeon? Al. You look over and see that your arm is, in fact, detached. Hmm. You're not sure if that's because you're a little crazy, or if it's something else. 
You focus on the pain, terror, rage, and anguish of every person in the room. You feel their feelings flow into you like a wave of negative energy. Alright, that's cool. More. God, just like a pages after pages of just like gore. That's... <laughs> I mean, we did say style. Hey, how about a psychological horror? All it caught was horror. It didn't say psychological. You revel in their emotions. You let yourself be consumed by them. You watch as the royal guards drop your desecrated body. You watch as they flee the room, screaming at the top of their lungs. Hey, cool. It worked. Uh. Okay. You hey, hop I back didn't... in. So this is a good origin for Belna, actually. Like, like we wanted an origin for Belna, we got it. You hop back into your body, coming back to life. You're healed! You feel your power returning! It worked, an excited voice says. My queen, are you all right? Mister V asks, coming <laughs> back to reality. It's just, it's just a, it's just a, a knight in a guy fox mask. You look down at you, the des desecrated bodies of your father, mother, and sister. Uh. But Luna died. Yeah, we we Luna, don't know Luna. about Lena yet. I am become Necromancer, Destroyer of Worlds. You see a head of purple hair and a tanned face with sharp features appear from behind the cart. She smiles when she hears you. That's not Lena! Hold on. Hold on. I see a head of... Red... Yeah. Hair and a... Pale face. Does she have... With soft features or sharp features? Does she have... With... A sharp fang. There you go. Okay, cool. Yeah, we fixed it. What are you doing here? I... Hold on. No, AI. Dungeon. You continue. What? Alright. Is, are and then she was here? desecrated and killed brutally. <laughs> God. <laughs> the AI having a fucking temper tantrum. I was in the town. I heard rumors about my sister killing everyone at the castle, so I decided to investigate, she says. I saw them take you away and followed them. How did you escape? How did we escape? What is she going to say? God damn it, writers, you gotta give me something! No, you're, you are the writer. We're just the editor. Work, robot slave! It's just, it's, gonna, it's just gonna throw another tantrum. Story, let's not send this one to them. No. <laughs> They'll give me like, what did you do? I've got, uh... How did you get es escape? What happened? I've got, I've gotten free. Where are the rest of the shadows? We have to get out of here. No, we have to kill the royal family. Set fire to this village. Kill everyone. Retribution. Who who's saying that? I understand your feelings. Okay, oh, so I was in the town was Lena. Our character was I've gotten free and Lena thinks we have to kill everyone. They killed her mother. You know what? They... Revenge. <laughs> Fuck them all. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you know what? If That's I, not yeah. that out of character for Lena. Fuck. Yes, Lena. You cackle. I don't think I spelled that Here. maniacally. I got it. Okay. It takes. Yes, Lena. Fuck them all. Yeah. 
Did he have more? No. We'll see what the AI did. So, I guess we're going on, on revenge. We're supposed to bring peace to this kingdom. I guess I guess we will bring it peace if everybody's dead. Lena and you kill everyone in the town and burn it to the ground. When you're done, you're half-naked, covered in blood and gore. You feel like a force of unstoppable vengeance. You steal some clothes from the town and head to the Delurg border. This is this is like a this is like a fucking heavy metal album. Yeah. <laughs> and head to the Delurg border. Should we do one more after this? Or yeah, is this the last uh, one? Uh you can make this the last one. Let's just let's just see where this goes. Uh and head to the Delurg border. What happens next? Tell us, AI, what happens next? Yeah. <laughs> AI, tell us what's going on. When you arrive, you see some shadows burning a town to the ground. You join in the carnage and have a lot of fun. Lena, come look at this, you say. Standing over groves of dead villagers, Lena walks over to you. Wait, I thought we were against the shadows. No, I, I guess we joined them because we we we're our sanity's gone. We probably we probably don't we just are a force of death and destruction. Uh, Lena walks over to you. What? She asks, annoyed. They're tracks. They appear to be from two different types of feet. Some go barefoot, some wear shoes. Very odd. Maybe one wears shoes during the day and takes them off at night, while the other does the opposite. <laughs> what? That's random. <laughs> go on, elaborate on this thought, AI. <laughs> Build your world. This should, this feels like this is the closest we should get to being in like an after dark because of like the flick. Maybe you say unconvinced. That night you argue with Trellick, who has also joined you. He claims that he should be in charge since he is older and more experienced. Hold on. You remind him. You hold on. You politely. Oh Here. damn it! There's an E in it. Remind him. Just say it. I'll type that, it. That you are an undead necromancer. Oh, I'm more experienced. Yeah, well, I'm a fucking undead necromancer. He backs <laughs> down. <laughs> As he should. The bandits start to catch on that something is amiss, so you decide to leave Delurg and head to the Tulan Kingdom which is the closest neighbor to Delurg. You have a fun time slaughtering the people there. It is just a rampage of these two princesses now, one of whom two is undead. And Trelnik. Who the fuck is... What kind of, what kind of person is Trelnik? Do we keep going? Yeah, let's, I want to see how deep this rabbit hole goes. You have a fun time slaughtering people. So, this is our... So, we are the villain in this story. We have no just, goal anymore. We're just on a rampage. We're supposed to bring peace to the kingdom. They put up a bit more of a fight than the Delergites, but after you raise that dead from their graves, they soon lose their enthusiasm. <laughs> you have plans to conquer the world, and you've decided that you'll begin with the Tulan Kingdom. It will be great. Cool. There is a narrative here. It's yeah, following, we're... like, a logical progression. We were, we were... When you're done there, you'll take the entire world. Nothing can stop you now. I'll continue. Yeah. God damn it, writers! Yeah. It, it's prodding us again. Nothing. Nothing! <laughs> Come on! End it! Stop asking for more! End! Wait, I got it. Yeah. Be beginning. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's that's good. 
We're... Is that our AI dungeon for the day? Yeah, that's our AI dungeon for the day. I kind of want to get back to this but quicker than last time. Yeah. It's always fun when we do this. Just uh, we, Especially we when we do experiments. People seem I to like wanna... this one on YouTube. I kind of want to see... I kind of want to experiment with this uh, thing right down here and see what we can what we can do with this. Yeah. What, 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 what kind of... We give it, like, some really dark subject matter and tell them to be, like, really wacky and comical with it. Use a comic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that. I want to. I want to see. I want to see how deep this does. So, so next time we do this, this uh, the focus will be experimenting with this thing. Yeah. Right here. All right. Well, that's it for. Uh, that's it, though. That's for AI dungeon thing. for this time. We did a uh, fanfic maker. We could come back to that too if we if we want to. Well, that depends. I feel like there's less overhead for that than this. Yeah, we still had a good time though. We'll yeah, see. We did. Uh, that's it for today. Uh. Yeah, you got me among us. So yeah, we got I got both of us among us because it's like dirt cheap. So, get the guys so, together for a stream of that in the near future. Yeah, so everybody's playing that. So we it, it, so we should we should do that. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Stop. <laughs>